everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back my name is Kylie A today we are doing the I think it's called the Christmas day tag but I forget the name of it <laughs> it's a Christmas tag because it's Christmas yay okay um, I'm gonna post the original tag below in the description but I saw this on Nicole's channel and she does a beautiful chaos of books and she's awesome, so you go watch hers, and I'll link hers down below too. There is eight questions, so let's just do it. One, anticipation. The Christmas excitement is real. What releases are you most anticipating? Okay, I had to look on Goodreads for this one. I looked, and there wasn't anything coming out in December that I cared about. But in January, there was four. There was four books. Okay, Race to the Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse is a middle grade and it sounds really good. <laughs> I'm not gonna read off the synopsis, but it's it's like she writes like native uh, stories with lots of native characters and to and they and she adds like native like mythology elements to it and they're really cool. I just finished Trail of Lightning today and it's awesome five stars so I think I want to check out that middle grade and then um the, oh it comes out on January 14th 2020 then um a favor for a favor by Helena Hunting comes out on January 28th this is a a smutty romance I think it said that it's a standalone um but maybe it's just like the beginning of a new series and Helena Hunting writes Pucked which is my favorite smutty romance series that follows like NHL hockey players. And I didn't fully read the synopsis because I like to go in blind, especially with romances. <laughs> um, but I did see the words NHL players. So I like me some hockey players. Okay. And then, okay. So if anyone knows, like there's those DC icons books um, where popular authors wrote like the backstory or story of different like superheroes and Lee Bardugo wrote Wonder Woman okay but the graphic novel version is coming out January 7th and so I haven't read I haven't read Lee Bardugo's version of Wonder Woman but I think the graphic novel would be cool too and then my last one is the number three in uh the Tales of Morgan Crow. I think it's called Never. Is the first one called Nevermore. I think it's Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. So number three is coming out January 28th. So those are all books that I am excited for. New releases that I'm excited for. Okay. Number two, Christmas songs and carols. What book or author can you not help but sing its its praises? Sing its praises. And um, that would have to be a recent read of mine that I really loved, Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia. This is the story of a girl named Cassiopeia who she is, this is an adult book, okay? Adult. And she, Cassiopeia opens this box that like her grandpa kept locked up all the time. And inside the box was a Mayan death god. And so she freed him, he was trapped, she freed him. And she goes with him on this adventure to um, collect some missing parts of him and, and regain control of like his kingdom, get his power back, you know. And it was awesome. You guys, it was so awesome. I love it so much. Everyone should read it. You should read it. It has some romance. There's a trigger warning. If you're triggered by things, I can't just say the trigger warning because it's a major spoiler. Okay? Because it's like the ending. So I will put it in the description. If you're triggered by things and you need to know what the trigger warning is, look in the description, okay? Okay, so number three, Gingerbread Houses. What book or series has wonderful world building? 
And I was thinking about this one because honestly, I'm not super picky about world building. Lots of people are very like, it needs to show and not tell. There needs to be all these details. There needs to be all this history. I'm not super picky. But I do have to say that um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, like the trilogy, is one of my favorites, okay? And the world, like Prithian, the fairy world, is really cool. There's like... The winter area, the spring area, the, sum er the su summer area, the autumn area, uh, dawn, day, and night. And maybe because it's so simple, but it's really easy to picture, right? Like, oh, this is like the autumn court. It's autumn in the autumn court. It's going to be very obviously yellows and oranges and reds and very beautiful, you know? And so, yeah, I think it's like gorgeous and I wanna go travel around there. And I think that'd be great to be able to like go to winter for a week and then be like, yeah, I think I'm tired of this. This is, I don't like this. And go and, you know, go back to the beach in summer. That'd be great. I, that's an idea. We should do that. <laughs> um, okay, number, <laughs> number four. A Christmas Carol, a, a favorite classic, or one that you want to read. <laughs> there is not one that I want to read, and I hate classics. Sorry. I even gave Alice in Wonderland like one star. I hate that book. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Number five. What book would you love to receive for Christmas? Okay, so I would love to have all of the illustrated editions of Harry Potter. There's only the first four that are, like, out, like, that you can buy. And I have, uh, for some reason, I have... Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban, but I don't have the Philosopher's Stone and I don't have Goblet of Fire. Um, so I want them, obviously. <laughs> They're just really beautiful additions and when my kids get a little bit older, it's gonna be awesome to have those illustrated editions to read to them. And it'll just be so nice. Yeah, those are, I would like those. Those are awesome. Number six, candles in the window. What gives you that warm and fuzzy feeling? Um, well, you know what? I learned this year that I am trash for romance. Any romance book gives me that warm and fuzzy feeling. Any single one, not just, I'm not discriminatory. All the romance will give me that warm and fuzzy feeling. Did I write one down? I did. Like one of my favorite, um, I, I prefer smutty romances, so like, traditional romances um so one of my favorite smutty romances is called pucked off by helena hunting and the boy is a um nhl hockey player and the girl is a massage therapist and so yeah they're cute <laughs> and another one if you're looking for like a christmasy one i just read mary inkmas by talia hibbert and the girl, um, she starts out at the beginning of the book, she's a barista. And she is a black plus size character. And the guy is a famous tattoo artist with his own tattoo shop. And he is a white redhead. So that happens. They're, they're both really cute romances. I like them. Number seven, Christmas tree and decorations. What are some of your favorite book covers? Okay, I like it when things are shiny. <laughs> so here's a couple that I have. This is Ink by Alice Broadway. Wow, isn't it so shiny? Beautiful. Um, this is Cleopatra's Moon. Very shiny. 
And that's Cleopatra's daughter there, and she is very beautiful. Very shiny. Um, do I want to take this out of the box? The collector's edition of Court of Thorns and Roses. It's very shiny. And beautiful. I can't wait till they come out with all of these. I wonder how long it'll take. And the last one I have here is Circe. Very shiny and beautiful. I like them shiny. <laughs> And okay, I think this is the last question. Christmas to joy. What are some of your favorite things about Christmas? Okay, so my, probably my favorite thing about Christmas is giving gifts. I really love um, giving people gifts and buying gifts for people. And that's kind of one of the ways that I like express my love, I guess. <laughs> it's hard when you're poor, but like I find ways to do it. And um, it's really nice now that I have kids because I can be Santa. So that's a new like aspect of it that I didn't always have, obviously. And yeah, so I really love uh, giving gifts. That's one of the things that I love to do. Okay, well, that's the tag. Um, so I'm gonna tag my friends. Um, I'm gonna tag Zoe. I'm gonna tag Layla. Um, I'm gonna tag Abby. I'm gonna tag Princess. And you know what? Just for shits, I'm gonna tag Shelby. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but it, don't feel like you can't do this if you weren't tagged. I wasn't tagged by anybody, I just saw it. On Nicole's channel and I read through the questions and I liked the tag so I decided that I wanted to do it so yeah um, let me know some of your favorite Christmas reads or Christmas tradition or Christmas traditions um, down in the comments below and yeah Merry Christmas everyone talk to you next time bye